So just a quick rundown on how to get your GH4 working with um, the GH3 Zenmuse. We've had a few questions recently regarding our latest video because we used this setup um, and it worked really nicely. So I thought I might share the results and uh, a quick summary of how to get it working for you. First thing you want to do is to pick up one of these HDMI to AV converters. Uh, now this one's from Copterworks and it's basically been bulletproof uh, for any cameras that we've thrown at it so I would really recommend this one. Um, they sell also this uh, thin micro HDMI to normal HDMI cable. They sell them as a package or they sell them separately. Um, you can decide which ones you want to get. Um, also you want to pick up a few small balancing weights. Um, now this one I've got a package of just 5 gram and 10 gram weights. Uh, this enables you to fine-tune the balance um, as you're going to put the HDMI converter board on the bottom of the Zenmuse here. So the HDMI to AV board um, has four cables. You've got your ground and video cable and the ground and power cable. Um, in this application you don't need the ground and power cable. Actually, I guess in 90% of the times uh, that I've tested this with cameras, you don't need the power cable as it draws the 5 volts from the HDMI cable directly, which is really nice. So all we're interested in is the, uh, the ground and the video cable here. The balancing can be a little bit difficult. Um, I'm just going to share my way of doing it, but there's, there's different ways to do it. As long as the whole gimbal is balanced, um, then you're pretty good to go. But in my case, uh, what I've done is I have uh, loosened these two uh, screws on the Zenmuse that, that hold the roll bar. And um, I've actually moved it a little bit, probably like three millimeters, so not very much at all, uh, to the right hand side. Just to give um, this side a little bit more weight uh, to counter against uh, the HDMI board going on there. Um, I didn't move anything up or down, simply just to the right. So once that's all locked off, um, it should balance nicely on this axis here. So um, even without the weights, it should balance on this axis. What I've also done is I have uh, dropped the Zenmuse by, again, very small amount, like five millimeters, by undoing these two screws here and just dropping this bar, just a fraction, to give it a little bit more room um, between the camera and this uh, roll bar, well it's not the roll bar, but where the pan connects basically. So in an, it enables you to put some weights on top of the camera without it um, obstructing its movement. So in my case I've got a total of 25 grams extra weight. I've added 5 here on the right hand side of the Zenmuse and then I've got two tens sitting on top of the camera here. Uh, these balancing weights are quite nice because uh, they just have some adhesive tape on the back. Peel that off, stick it on and you're good to go. So as you can see it's quite nicely balanced here on all axis. And uh, yeah, once that's all done then you're good to test out and good to fly. So let's uh, test the picture. Let it go through its calibration process. Excellent. And now you can switch your camera on. And as you can see on the screen, There we are, we have full picture. And let's give the uh, ZBUs a bit of movement. Nice, let's test out the shutter cable, make sure that's all working. Oh, no memory card, but obviously it's working. So yeah, that is um, basically all you have to do. And now you've got all movement on all axis pretty nicely and that should work really, really well for you in flight. Hope it helped you out. Excellent. Cheers.